Hey guys, so we are headed to the mountains for like a little day night trip. Olivia's at home with grandparents. We've escaped for the night, but um, it was really sad. We're going to the casino. I did my makeup in the car. Every time I do my makeup in the car, oh, I didn't know what's Every time I do my makeup in the car, I feel like I always do like way too much. It's always not enough. It's always like, well, it's okay. Like not enough foundation because like you're actually outside. It's just, just the right amount though. I didn't really need much, but like you don't really kick on your foundation because you can see what you're doing. But I always do like a ton of, of eye makeup. Do you guys do that? I think I'm going to do my nails really quick because we've got like 40 minutes to go. Um, but yeah, we're having a fun little day. Ooh, the mountain laurel is blooming. Do you remember when we came through that time and it was like really crazy? I don't know what that is. It's like purple. They look like hydrangeas. Anyways, um, so we're excited. I don't know. I don't know. He's not a he's not a, a florist. We didn't really pack much. I just packed that bag with stuff in it. We're just <laughs> the night. Just the bag. <laughs> we didn't really pack much. Just the bag. Just the bag with stuff in it. You guys, this is really good hand cream. I've been using it like crazy. My nails have gotten so much better. My gross like peely cuticles. Um, put on a bunch of jewelry today. Maybe not a whole lot. Oh my gosh, this top, you guys. I ended up getting it in uh, pink too. I really like it. All over it. I did. We went through McDonald's this morning, and the lady gave me um, rigged. A good the rant. Lid wasn't secure. It's like you have <laughs> one job. Just put the lid on the cup. Anyways, I squeezed it, and I was like, and I get it. Things happen, but every single time I go through the same McDonald's, always Coke all down the front of me. Well, you gotta learn how to check those now. I know. Um, but anyways, so I'm wearing my bobble bar little necklace, and I have a new bracelet. Alex sent me some really cool stuff. I mean, I mean, I picked it. I like these are awesome. Um, anyways, so I really wanted one of these bracelets. I have that big chain necklace, you know, my L and M necklace that kind of looks like it would match this, but this one's shiny. And um, my Hermes bracelet, my David Herman bracelet, and and then my ring. And look at this, you guys. How am I gonna hold this without flipping you upside down? And then I got one of these pretty rings. I should've done my nails before this. So they would've been all cute. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to do it before we go. Whatever. Um, so anyway, she's, I have a couple of these new rings. Um, but this Where's one the is the in? only... No, those are like Christmas trees. No, I don't think those are the trees we're putting in. Yep. I like ones. those though, because they look kind of like um, woodland. This is really pretty. And this is this little band is like the cheapest ring in the world from Bobble Bar. And I got it because it kind of holds my Cartier ring on because I got this when I was pregnant and I meant I was gonna like wear it and it was gonna fit me like right after I was pregnant and I had like literally Three gained sizings. 80 pounds. Now I gained like 60 sizings. pounds. Sizings. How much did I pay? It was like 60 pounds. Size, so, yeah, it's too big. But um my goal, what well, right, my goal? My golden knife. Now what I would like to do is get another one that's small like a smaller size. I like to get another one that's a smaller size and stuck on top of it. On. Yeah, because if you get the thin ones, you can stack them. Stack them. But I like the look of that little one, don't you? Yeah. Don't you? Talking to me? You asking me? Not asking question? you. I'm not talking to you. Of course, I love, I love it. it. I love it. But anyways, I thought this was cute. And then I carried. I have my little nail kit because I think I'm gonna do my nails in the car. And then that's what we do every time we like go on a road trip or anything. Um, especially when we come up, I always just leave. I do my hair, which I don't know. Didn't really, it turned out kind of wavy instead of curly, but that's okay. We're driving in the um, clouds. Oh, that looks weird. It looks really weird. Um, <laughs> what an angle. Um, no, but anyways, I, what was I going to say? Oh, I literally just do my, I just wash my face and then I do my, uh, put some moisturizer and then do my hair and then I do my makeup on the way. I really haven't been having to do much to my face because my skin is good, so I'm excited about that. I'm rambling at this point, but um, I carried this bag, my boy, because it's small enough, but it's big enough. You know what I mean? It's like small, but it's big enough to carry the stuff that you need, like your wallet and stuff. And that's what's going on. So pretty. That's rushing me, starving. Look, I'm ahead of you. Gosh, what's taking you so long? to wait on him all the time. He always is the one that takes longer getting ready. And he has no hair. I don't take longer, I wanna get ready. We're about to go eat.
Oh, we came to the casino, but did we say where we were even at? We're at the casino at um, Cherokee. Which they've made it really nice. If you haven't been in a couple of years, it's really nice now. They've got good restaurants and stuff. It's kind of like close by and just fun to escape for the night. So. Wish us luck. What? Go out over there. No, nobody wins over there. They're the that's prop our, machines. No, you wins. can't go over there. You gotta get like deep in the casino to win. I don't think so. Alright you guys, wish us luck. So it's like 1230. I didn't really film in the casino because I don't really know if you're allowed to or not. I don't know. I didn't do so well. Please, please I didn't even realize I was eating chips. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm sorry. I was eating. Let me retry that. So, we're in the room. We're relaxing. We're going to like stay up and go to the casino and stuff more, but we just kind of got tired, so we got some snacks, we came to the room, and now we're watching the end of Face Off, and Kill Bill Volume 1's about to come on, so we're pretty excited. Brad did pretty good at the casino, though. I didn't do super well. I don't know, but we've, we're having fun. Oh, look how good I look. I'm wearing one of Brad's t-shirts, because I forgot pajamas. Yeah, there was nothing open except for Johnny Rockets, and the line was like, way out and we ate dinner earlier at Ruth's Chris and then I didn't film any of that but then before that when we were at lunch we were at Brio it was really good but anyways we just got some snacks I got these um spicy dill pickle chips and they're pretty good but they're kind of gross like to eat at night I don't know and then I got some ranch corn nuts which are super gross but I like the flavoring of the ranch did I get the grossest snacks ever probably is that Margaret Cho? Mm -hmm. I do not believe her as a cop in this movie. Maybe she's a, maybe she's like an FBI agent. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Oh my god, this is like the last few minutes of this movie, but we didn't see the whole thing, but we haven't seen it in years. But Brad and I always say, if you've ever seen this movie, this Face Off movie, what do they do? They do this? Like throw, on the he, face? He, roll, he rolls his fingers across her face for some reason. Yeah, like him and his wife have this thing where they just do this to each other. Or his daughter. He does it to his daughter or his, I can't remember. And we always say, what's our face-off thing? Like if we're ever in a bad, like if something oh, ever happens and we're like, yeah, no, no, but like if we're ever in a situation where we have to prove to each other yeah. that like he is him. Or lose my face. And like I'm me. I don't know. I probably look really scary right now because I mean, oh, whatever. Okay. Everybody always says that. I have on no makeup. I look so scary right now. Um... But we always have the thing where we're like, this is our face-off moment. Like, this is our, what do we say? No, but we always have, we have this thing where we're like, like, we'll do something or something weird will happen and we'll be like, this is our face-off thing. Or like. Yeah. Yeah, like, like if, like. Forever lose my face. Yeah, like something yeah, only I know. know that no one else knows. There you go. That's a good way of saying it. Yes. Or something that he knows. You know, someone has, someone had to have seen them do that gesture to one another before. This movie's so unbelievable, you can't just like reattach a face. Yeah, but they only do the faces, they only do the hair. Oh, that's such a good point. But they had to, they, <laughs> they totally... Just, they should just cut each other's heads <laughs> off and change it. Head off. Head off. No, it's not even worth it, it's not even worth talking about. <laughs> See, he just did it. Do you? You don't like Kill Bill. It's alright. I really like it. I really like the first one. No, wait. No, I don't. I really like the second one. I like both of them. Like where's the one where she comes Bill. out? Where's the one where she comes out of the grave covered in the dirt? She claws her way up to the mm -hmm. That would be the first one. First one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's the one with his brother in it. Mm -hmm. That's first the second one. one. <laughs> okay, well, they lied to me. Kill Bill Volume, but it isn't coming on. Some white princess movies coming on. It's called The White Princess. With a budget of he literally just said we're house hunting, so we're gonna need some drinks. That's like the worst idea ever. Let's get drunk and go look at houses. That's not a colonial. Like Does she just say the porch? Does she just say that the porch was small? <laughs> <laughs> the porch is like the length of the house. This woman. <laughs> what was that? Why are you laughing? A lot of crowd molding. He's nervous. The guy's nervous. 
Well, at least it's granite this time. The guy's like, I hate granite. It's like not even granite, it's like laminate. What is this floor? Tile? Or tile great. 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 I hate tile. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, I hate wood. Incorporates all the elements. We've got wood, brick. Oh, man. Here's your pole, bitch. <laughs> That's not awesome. That is like... Oh, don't complain, these people. That laundry room is bigger than ours. Very traditional rooms. <laughs> these rooms are so traditional. This guy, they're going to get this house because of that stupid above ground pool. That's the only reason they're going to buy it. An above ground pool, which they could have literally put in at any of the other houses for probably $5,000. An above ground pool like that, and that one's probably old and is probably gonna collapse in like two months, anyways. What did he just say? <laughs> he loves the window wells. <laughs> <laughs> I love these slots for the windows. <laughs> I love these door slots. I love this. I love this. Bowl. I love this bathing nook. Is this a is this a water bowl? <laughs> I love these water bowls and bathing nooks. This bathroom closet. Brad, he just need, Brad, he just needs room for his bean bag. He literally said he just needed room for his bean bag. They'll be fine. Oh my gosh, it's not... It's not a traditional colonial house. Oh my god, they're going to say this is like... This is an this industrial... Is <laughs> this is a ranch. It's three stories. This is a ranch. I don't understand why the guy doesn't like columns. They're like actually serving a purpose. Like those are holding the ceiling up. Show him an above ground pool in the back. He'll be sold. What an open floor plan with no columns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be, it has to be traditional industrial. That's what these people's style is. Um, did they see the last house? Talking about renovations? Is she joking? That is a huge... Uh, All you gotta do is take them down. Just take the curtains down. They're not your curtains. The glass doors go where? What would you even put in a, in a niche like that? A niche? That's what she said. I love that niche. I mean, what would you even put in that? Those are actually, that bathroom looks actually nice. Wait, so that's not their pool? That's their neighbor's pool? I can't take it. So we're about to head out of here. Um, I think on the way home we might stop by the outlet malls. We've been meaning to go the last couple weeks. The one that has like the restoration hardware and the pottery barn and stuff. But this is my outfit today. It's just really simple. I'm wearing my Zella leggings, the ones that are high waisted. The high waisted ones are the best. And then my Adidas uh, t-shirt and this little lace jacket that I showed. Really, did I show both of these? Yeah, in my new lookbook video. And then my little Valentino slides. And I carried my boy on this trip. So, I'm ready to get out of here. And um, I'll talk to you all in a minute. Okay, first of all, I'm going to cut out a lot of what I said at the outlets because I had no idea what I was talking about and figured out. I went looking for something specific on the way home we dropped by. I don't think I'm even going to like post where I was talking about what I wanted because I'm, again, like such an idiot and I got home and I realized oh, we didn't end up finding something much. I don't think I would have bought anything anyways, but it was such a big thing, but I'll show you with the, or I'll talk about it in a minute, but what I wanted to do right now is do my makeup the way that I did it in the car on the way um, because it turned out really good and I really, really liked it. So we got back from our trip yesterday. I didn't go nuts and unpack or anything, but I just brought my exact bag that I had everything in in here. I have this little, same thing that I showed you guys, this little zip up thing, which I've really been enjoying. Um, it's kind of like, what would you call it, like a train case? I don't know. I put everything in it though. My skincare, my makeup and everything. I have my perfume in there that I brought. I have really been loving this. Um, and let me just share. I got another one of these dang Adidas tops. If they come out with any color, I'll buy it. I love this top. It's like silky. It's just long enough. You can put it on with anything. I love these. So, I'm a sucker. But we're just going to chat. But I thought I would just do my makeup. What I do, whenever we go on a trip, I always do my makeup on the way when you're trying to just run out the door. The last thing you want to do is like sit and do your makeup for 10 minutes or however even long. So I just put on my moisturizer. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. And it makes your skin feel slippery. It's like a good... 
um, primer. I figured out that the days that I don't wear foundation, like the days that I don't wear makeup, it's too much. It's too sticky. Is that weird? Because when I put my foundation on over it, it kind of just goes, you know what I mean? It's like, it kind of, but the days that I don't wear foundation, I just use the regular moisture surge. Okay, so where's my foundation? This is what I do. So before I leave, I dip in a beauty blender and I stick it in one of these little beauty blender containers that's just ready to go. And these are good to keep anyways. And I'm using my cleansing acne solutions. This is funny. So um, this is what's, what all's in here. I'm going to take that out. It's my hand cream. Um, but everything that I use, I'm going to pull from in there. It's honestly too much. Like I didn't think I would even use that much. But when you're in the car, you get kind of bored. And sometimes I feel like I go a little overboard or not overboard but what always happens is which is really nice when you're in the car you can really see what you're doing I like that about sitting right here too I can really see what's happening because of the all the natural light in my bathroom which is better to film right here um but you end up not you put you just put on just the right amount of foundation you know like you don't put on even enough sometimes like I'll look later and I'll feel like you know, I didn't cover everything, but whatever. I mean, I don't really feel like I have a whole lot going on anyways. And I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like the whole, like, masked out effect. You know what I mean? I like things to look a little more natural, even if it's, like, a dewy foundation or whatever. And I'm not kidding you. This Acne Solutions is so good with the Beauty Blender. It's just, it just looks like real skin. I tried to use um, a powder foundation the other day. I was not wearing um, any foundation. And we were going to run out. For dinner, and I thought I'm just gonna put on for dinner, and I thought I'm just gonna put on this really quick. So I grabbed my um, the It Celebration, you know, the foundation stuff, the illuminating one too, which used to always I think look pretty natural. And I took just a big fluffy brush, and <laughs> it was horrible. Like I don't know, I'm just not used to using. Uh, and I like that. I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe I don't anymore. But I'm just not used to using powders. I just can't. Um, even like as a setting powder, I just can't do it. I mean, blush and stuff's different. Or like a bronzer, but like, I just cannot put it all over my face. Bounce it a little. And you don't have to do this. I see people do that. I'm like, what are you doing? Just little, you know, just little, little bounces, little strokes. And the whole idea of, because I see all these other like things that are like, oh, but it's not a sponge. It's not absorbent. Like, that's what you want. You want it to be absorbent so you can wet it. And then it won't absorb your foundation. Your foundation rubs off on it. But if it's absorbed the right amount of liquid, it's not going to absorb any more foundation. And then it gives you just perfect. I don't know. It's just nice. Okay, so the other catch, though, to doing your makeup in the car is that you end up putting on, at least for me, I always end up putting on way too much. This is my MAC Radiant Rose Prep and Prime. I end up purchasing it again because it's so good. I end up putting on way too much eyeshadow. That's just what always happens. I tried so many different, uh, what you call it, um, under eye things, and I'm not kidding you, this is the best, like, it comes in all different colors now, like, even, like, more flesh toned colors, like, this one's very pink, but I like it, it's not, like, overboard crazy, but it's, it's just right, and it doesn't crease, it looks so natural, it doesn't look like paint, it's just so good, um, and then, too, because in the car, like, especially if you're taking, like, a longer trip, our trip was about two and a half hours, um, it's just, <laughs> not that I, I didn't spend the whole time on my makeup, I was insane. Um, but it just gives you that time to just relax, and it passes the time. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I just brought all my kind of go-to stuff. This, I'm not kidding you guys, especially, like, nowadays nobody, everybody I think is kind of, I don't want to say everybody, but like, you know, it is kind of more popular to not use powders, and people are using, like, those little cushions, which, oh, I love those cushions, um, and just all that, you know, not like going for a super powdery look, this is the bronzer you need, if you use it the right way, you won't look orangey, because it's very, like, you can, if you piled it on, but it's just going to make your skin look alive, and I have been not using foundation just day to day at home, or, you know, if I'm, if I'm just running out or going here and there, but I still will use that if I'm, Sometimes I don't, most time I don't use anything, but like if I'm just, if I still want to look kind of put together, I'll use that because it kind of um, keeps your skin from looking so flat, you know what I mean? So it's really good. Okay, so here's what happened at the 
outlets. So, okay, what's going on? My grandma's table in the kitchen, you know, the one that my, it was my, actually my great grandma's, and my grandma gave it to me. It was in storage when she moved in with my parents oh, years back. Okay, this eye primer, the aging one. It's, yeah, I loved it. When I was little, I always loved it because I like those little cloth feet. And now, like every single company, like Restoration Hardware, like anyone that sells like a round pedestal dining table, it's kind of like everyone's making reproductions of this type of table that was popular. Like, those, I mean, it's just a very classic style of table, but I love mine. It's like over 100 years old. I did all this research on it. I found these labels on the bottom of it. And it's actually really interesting. Um, when they bought it, my great-grandparents, it was actually an antique then. It was, it's just really weird. And it was so rickety. And Brad refinished it. And he put new, or he sanded it and refinished it and took it all apart and made it really nice. It's very small. I remember even when I told my mom, I'm going to use this thing. I'm gonna, I'll link everything I'm using below. I'm actually contour my nose because I did it the other day and I did it halfway decent, maybe. I don't know. Um, oh. I usually just use the light color down the middle, but sometimes I'd rather use this than put too much of the bronzer on it. You know what I mean? Anyways, I remember when my mom was like, are you sure you want that? Like, that is a tiny table. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. See, I don't like that. What did I do? Um, oh, I can't do that to myself. Anyways, so the car is just the magic place to do your makeup. I don't know. When I did it that day, it looked good. So, and then I used a light color. So we've always, like, just kind of shoved around it. And I remember I used a leaf in it. Like, she had a leaf insert that I used um, that was... That I, that I liked, you know, but when, but it kind of made it shaped funny for this, for the area we had it, it was just weird, so when Brad refinished it, he just refinished the table, he didn't refinish the leaf, because I was like, I probably never use that well, but Olivia hasn't been in a high chair for a while, and it just makes it hard to fit everybody around that table, and, um, this is Dervish, which is so good, love it so much better than Whirl, I go back and forth, like I'll use Whirl, and then I'll use Dervish, and Dervish is so much better, for me at least. It's just like the color of, it's like the color of the inside of my lips, you know what I mean? And then it gets that pale part real good. So, yeah, and then my parents come over. We don't always, you know, go bust out everything in the dining room. Like, I, I just like to keep it kind of casual and... It was literally like shoving around a table that only four people can fit around and we needed like six people. Um, okay, this is what I've been doing. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. I told you guys I've been using the MAC Brow Set, which these MAC Brow products are not, they don't make your brows look slick. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not liquidy looking. This is the Emphatically Blonde. This is so dry. This is a product that you would use um, the waterproof, the Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. This is a product that you use to actually color and fill in your brows. And then this one, the Brow Set, which I showed you in Girl Boy, or this is just like the, the same formula as the Clear. It's a very just like finishing gel that's dry. And if you use that color, um, well, it's drier than most. If you use the colored one, it just kind of gives your brows a little bit of a tone, which I like to kind of tone mine down. So I use this blonde because, like I said, I'm filling them in and I'm trying not to make them like crazy. Do you think that looks good? I think that's so cool that I can do that and not have to use a pencil now. So this is what I've been doing and I really love it. Okay. I was looking at different tables and my heart just like tells me, like, you know, I wanted to keep the table, which I am. This is so crazy. So I looked at Restoration Hardware and I found one there and I was like, well, maybe I could get that one. It was kind of expensive and I thought, we'll look at the outlet. And so that's what we were looking at. Of course, they didn't have it. Any other home I've ever been there, they have like tables at the Yang. They didn't have any that day. But anyways, I'm glad they didn't because um, I thought, well, we'll just make it work. I don't know. Because I'm definitely like, and then my heart's like, I don't want to get rid of that table, you know? It's like so special. Because I thought, I'll just put it in, the, I would never get rid of it. But I thought, I'll put it in the basement. Then I'm like, how many tables can I freaking put down there? Like, I can't just be putting tables like everywhere. So, I, this, this brow's a little trickier because I've got that big scar in the middle. Um, and so you can be, this is why you need to use a lighter color because you can like really mess it up. I don't know. Maybe this looks bizarre. It kind of does because I mess up in the middle. So, when we got home, I found the little leaf to it. So, I told Brad, I was like, listen, I think I have another one because I remember years ago when I first used it, I picked out like the best of the two. You know what I mean? Um, like I swear there were two of them. Am I going overboard with this? I'm just trying to make it look 
This always works out until I freaking try to do it in a video. Oh. Yeah, that's why you always need, okay. Yeah, should have totally been using my close-up mirror. Um, okay, so here's what's funny. Because I remember like picking the best of the two. And so Brad goes up in the attic and he's like, I didn't find one, I found three. So we have three leaves to this table and we have plenty of room right there. So I put them in and it looks amazing. It looks like just this beautiful table. Now we can put six chairs around it. It is so cool. So now we have plenty of room to eat in our little breakfast area. And I love the table even more than I did before, if that's even possible. I'm not using this pencil, but I'm gonna use the little spoolie. That's what I've been doing. Gosh, where's all this like random hair coming from? So it's kind of funny, the middle's dark now. Um, so I put a little runner over it just with a, just in the meantime, because you know, we're not like finishing it right this second. Okay, now honestly, like my brows feel pretty good. I mean, I know they're not perfect or anything, but I think that's just kind of a cool thing that you can do every day. That's not like so fussy because it really doesn't take that much time and this brow is just having a bad day. I don't know what's happening there. Um, and then this is kind of maybe a little overcoat because these just feel soft. But I take this girl boy, the gel, and I just very lightly put it on. It just looks like powder. Like it just looks like I haven't put anything on there really. Like it, no, you think that'd be kind of gross to put two products like that. I, I don't even really... I haven't even been using a lot of brow gel, period. The whole point of that, I'm so excited about the table because it, it worked out and whatever. So, um, okay, here we go. This is what I've been using. It's the Man Eater Palette by Tarte. I talked about this in, what did I do? In a recent video and I was like, oh yeah, these were gone. Like you cannot find them anywhere. Did I jump on this really late? Like I got it, I think in January. I don't know, but it's beautiful. So, here's what I did. Okay. Here's what I did. The colors are perfect, but I looked online and I actually found, I can't deal with this eyebrow. I actually found a good alternative and I have been using that, like just like I showed you and it has been perfect. And this one today is like, mm -mm. yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, I wish that they would still have this, but I found some good alternatives. So this you can use on your cheeks or anywhere, but um, I like to start off with that right on my lids. It's just kind of a little sparkly color and I pretty much use this one brush for everything. It's the E35 by Sigma which is probably if I had to have like one eyeshadow brush forever it'd probably just be this. And then I take this color that's kind of like a medium brownish like peach it's like a peachy brown if that makes sense. And I put it kind of like in my crease but then down onto my lid and so what I did that day is I just, I was talking to Brad and we were just, see that already looks good. Um, and I was just blending and just like, yeah, and I just kept adding stuff and it really looked good. A lot of my Tarte eyeshadows smell like chocolate. Why is that? It's so bizarre to me, like I just don't understand it. But I really do love these Tarte eyeshadows. They blend so well. And you know, everybody always raved about that Tartlet palette. And that's actually one that I found that's very similar to this. Which one is it? Is it the In Bloom one? Maybe it's the In Bloom, I don't know. Yeah, it's the In Bloom one that's very similar colors to this. But I've never had luck with those. I mean, like I try, but I just feel like sometimes they're just dusty and like I just can't bond with them or the colors, the colors are kind of chalky. I don't know, but I need to give it another shot maybe. What did I do? I think I, oh, I took this color, this nude color. And sometimes even I'll do that first so that color doesn't like grab right there, you know? Let's put that right there and just kind of. And then I'm gonna take this, this saucy color, which is like a medium warm brown. And then I put that in the crease. And like, what's funny is I don't use this much. I usually don't wear a ton of eyeshadow every day. So I felt like this was a lot when I was doing it. But then when I got there, I looked at myself and I was like, it looks good. Like it's not too much, but it just looks done. You know what I mean? It just looks really pretty. I take this foxy color, which is kind of like a champagne color. And I put that on my lid. And a lot of times I have not loved colors like this lately, like champagne like frosted colors. But this one works. It's just really pretty. But you don't want to overlap the brown too much, so then I'll put a little more of that. And then, to really kind of warm it up, or to darken it up, I take this brush, which is the 
E25, which is a little more tapered at the end, and I take this dark brown. The colors in this are just absolute perfection, like they're just so good. And I put it right on the edge. Because here's what I, th I was thinking, I guess. We were like going to a casino and I was like, it's basically like in the dark in there. I thought I can get away with a lot of eyeshadow today. But I felt like I was using a lot of eyeshadow and maybe I am. But when I got there, it just looked so pretty, you know? Um, but yeah, we had the best time. I, I don't even think we were gone for 24 hours, but you have to do some stuff on your own. You have to. I mean, like, I'm, Olivia is my life, and I'm with her 24 hours a day, and, you know, no one takes, no one else takes care of her or anything, and it's like, with your husband or with your significant other, it's so important just to do things, you know, get away and go to lunch or... You know, going away for the night without her is like a really big deal for me, but if you do it like that, like I don't think I could, I mean, I just really don't think I could handle being away from her more than one night because you can be gone for less than 24 hours. The first day, it's kind of like you're just out anyways, you know, um, and it's, you think, oh, you, you know, like I haven't left her that long and then... You know, she's with her grandparents, so it's, so it's fun, you know, it's fun for them. But then it's like, you know, you're having fun, and then by the time you go to bed at night, you think, I'm going to see her in the morning, you know? And then we always think, like, oh, we, we're going to do all these things the next day. We'll eat at this nice restaurant that's in the hotel, or we'll do this and that. And I'm always, like, ready to get the hell out of there. I'm always like, let's go, you know, because I'm ready to get home. And then um, my point is, just do some things for you, you know? Keep it alive with your husband, and you don't even have to go on trips to do that, like... You know, you can make, like, fun date nights at home. Um, but, yeah, it's important, I think, to do fun things together like that. Uh, oh, my gosh, have you guys seen the new Naked Heat palette? I'm dying. Dying. I cannot wait to get I don't get excited for many new palettes or many Urban Decay stuff. Oh, my gosh, no, I used this white pencil. See, I'm telling you guys, I pulled out all the stops. Did I use my little taunt? Yes, I did. So, I put a little right here. And this is that Smashbox in blank, the Always On Gel Eyeliner. And I'll, is it blank or blank? It's blank. And um, it's B L A N K. So I love these. They're so creamy, but they're not like gross creamy where they'll just go away. You know what I mean? They stay on once they're set. But you see that? It's not like a chalky white. It's just a pretty brightening white when you. It, it's just. It blends out so beautifully. I'm using the same liner that I just showed in Moody. You guys need to pick this up. This is the best eyeliner ever in this Moody shade. It's so good. But this one is like just the natural. It just looks like a natural shadow at your line. This is an E30 brush, but I don't know if they, I think they sell this one that's the synthetic version. Um, Cause you know, this is the brush that cuts in white, you know? Something about the synthetic one, when you're blending out your eyeliner, it's just nothing compares. It's just so good. And then you can take the brown on the same brush, and you can, like, kind of set the line with it, but it kind of, like, smudges it out even more. It makes it really pretty. You see? So I just went all in with the eyeliner. I was like, you know, like, go big. I haven't been using hardly any big liquid liners or any. Kind of like a mess of brown. I'm just kind of like blending. I'm adding a little bit more of that medium brown color. That's kind of what I did. I just kind of kept adding and blending. And I think sometimes when you do like or you see tutorials where it's like step one. I don't know. Anytime I ever did mine, I felt like I always had better results. When I would just kind of go back and add and... Kind of, kind of go crazy. Okay, this is so good. It's a very wet, like, I, I feel like it's not, it hasn't even started to dry at all lately, like, dry out. Yeah, you guys, I just wanted to add this in. I gotta do my blush and my, oh, and my lips. And my highlighter, real quick. Show you this. This little peach cushion, I always say this, but I like to put it right here because, that's a lot. I'm using the last bit. I that's what happened. I flipped it. So now it's like, ugh. 
it's like a lot now. But it just makes you look young right there. It just makes your skin look so dewy. And I remember a while back when we actually went to the same place, we went to that casino. I got carded left and right the whole time we were there. Like when I would go to the restroom, I would like look at myself and I thought my skin looks really young. Like I feel like I look good today and I think it's that. But then this time I went and I didn't get carded at all. So maybe I'm off in my little assumption here. Maybe I look haggard, I don't know. But anyways, I use this um, Paracone highlighter. No highlighter, highlighter. Again with the Beauty Blender. And oh, you guys, this is just... This is so good, this eyeliner. Don't you guys think, have you guys tried this? You have to if you haven't. It's the best. You need a little more, like scooped up way too much for that one side. It's just so pretty, I just love it so much. And then, just a little. And it doesn't look like a heavy highlighter, you know? I'm obsessed with this skinny dip. The skinny dip lip topper. And they have a new one called Saint Tropez. I have the whole line of this new stuff that I cannot wait to show you guys. The Saint Tropez, they look very similar. This is the Skinny Dip, this is the Saint Tropez. The Skinny Dip, I would say, is just slightly more golden. The Saint Tropez looks a little more like pinky, champagne-y, like pinky pearl. But it's chunky, like the glitter's chunky in it. And I actually wore that on my lips that day and I didn't like it. Um, we'll talk about that a little more in that video on that whole collection. Um, but I'm going to use the Skinny Dip because it is just the best. So I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Smooch. This is the matte liquid. This is so good. Like, it looks very nude, very kind of, not nude, but it's like pinky. It's very light, you know, but it's not, um, it makes your lips look done and pretty. It doesn't, like, blank them out. Like, you can see it. Oh, my gosh. And then, um... I, sometimes I leave it like that, but I really, really love, this is just the best. I don't need lip gloss. I don't need anything else. If I've got this, like, I could, you know how we always, like, put a lip gloss over a lipstick? Like, I can't even do that anymore because they're so thick and gross. Use this with any lip product, any lipstick. Like, you don't have to just use it with liquid lipsticks. It's so good. And it doesn't dry and set like a liquid lipstick and get, like, it just kind of feels dry. You know, it's so good, you guys. But yeah, the Saint Tropez one, like this one is just, you can't feel anything. This, the Saint Tropez one's so chunky. It feels like big chunks of glitter. And as it wears off, it looks like big chunks of glitter. So no, I can't do that. Um, okay, so that's it. Um, no, it's not it. And see, I don't even think I need this. Like I could totally, this would just be fine. But I'm just gonna put on blush because we're going nuts. But this is the Chanel Rose Initial. This is the very first Chanel color. This is the second one I've had, but it's the very first Chanel blush I ever purchased years ago, this color. And um, you just can't beat it. If you only are gonna get one Chanel blush, do this one. Cause see, you can build it, up. not pretty. You can build it up, you can make it so natural, like on those no makeup day, well, and people are like, ah, blush is makeup. Yeah, I, I get it, but I'm just saying. You wanna wear blush and bronzer and everything else? No, I'm kidding. Um, but no, like when you're not wearing foundation, you can even like throw it on, cause it's just easy. And something about this brush, like I try, not that I'm trying not to use this, but like if I ever try to use another brush, it's just not, a, and then I always blend. It's just not as good as this. This is the Rel Techniques blush brush. So yeah, you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog slash tutorial, and um, I'll do another makeup tutorial soon, and I'll do it on the um, the Natural Love Palette and do kind of like a filming look, although this is very like filming to me. And it's such a friggin' shame that they don't have this anymore. Tarte, please come back out with this. Put some different packaging on it. Call it something else. I'm not a huge fan of that, but just come back out with it. I don't even care. Call it like whatever you want, and I'll still use it. It's so good. Um, but I miss, it's just so good, you guys. Um, okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.